Is anyone else tired of souls likes? A question asked by Redditor, Necessary User 486 of r slash video games. A question that had me thinking about all of the recent souls likes that we have received in the past couple of years. Games such as Liza P, Another Crab's Treasure, The Lords of the Fallen, Remnant 2, and Wo Long Fallen Dynasty have all been added to the genre in 2023 and 2024. These games have been added to the genre of Souls-like because they all implement features that correspond with the genre. Features like boss fights, a stamina bar, a replenishing healing item, a checkpoint system, a dodging, parrying, or blocking system, and of course a difficulty that makes you want to check your controller across the world. These features are all inspired by the great minds of the people who worked on games developed by From Software. The brilliant minds of From Software have mastered these mechanics and continue to produce the best games in the genre. Their games hold a special place in people's hearts and fans of the genre continue to play and praise every game that the studio produces. So the question is, why is there a group of people in the video game sphere who are tired of playing these games? Well, I believe that question can be answered by just looking deeper into the problems that have been popping up with all of the recent games that are coming to the Souls-like style. First, let's examine the five games that I mentioned earlier. I'm pretty sure you can easily pick out the rotten apples from the bunch. I'm of course talking about The Lords of the Fallen and Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. Now why are these two games the ones that I am choosing to call out? Well it has to do with many factors that I believe are hindering the advancement of the genre. These games in my opinion are stuck in the past in terms of the quality of the genre it is at right now. Both of these games feel sluggish, leading to inconsistent combat, and you can just say that is only a problem because of user error. Although when you compare the fluidity of the combat to the combat of Elden Ring, Bloodborne, or the Demon Souls remake, it is just like night and day. Having smooth and fluid movement in a Souls-like is crucial to having a fun gaming experience. Because if the flow of the gameplay is slow and sluggish, Players will feel like the game is unfair and they will quickly lose interest. People have no problem with losing to a low level enemy or boss if the fight feels fluid because they are able to recognize the difference between a skill issue and an issue with the gameplay. Now we have to discuss the problem some video game developers have with replicating the formula FromSoft has laid out. FromSoft are highly respected for mastering their level design world exploration, and leveling balance. They are able to bring excitement to every world they immerse the player in because they know how to captivate the curiosity that we had as kids while playing games. They know how to reward the player fairly and they can perfectly balance the level of the player depending on where the player is at in the game. However, when developers other than FromSoft try to work on these aspects within their games, they find themselves falling short and when you slightly mess up, with the Souls-like formula, it can greatly cost the quality of your product. The game I believe has come closest to replicating FromSoft's formula is Liza P. The atmosphere, lore, world building is very captivating and immersive. Every area within the game draws you in and piques your curiosity to explore every corner of the level. Additionally, the game invites you to mix and match with weapon variety so that you can find the weapon that best suits your playstyle and this works in correspondence with making the game feel more balanced. Finally, the biggest thing hurting the Souls-like genre is a lack of vision for pushing the style to a new level. The only ones bringing new aspects to these kinds of games is FromSoft, so they have to keep on one-upping themselves while the rest of the studios fall behind. We need more developers who make these kinds of games to reinvent the wheel. A great example is Another Crab's Treasure. Just by taking a silly idea of a crab on a quest to receive his stolen shell brings creativity back into the genre. Does the game have the best gameplay in the genre? Of course not, but it does bring attention to itself just based on the idea alone. Also, Remnant 2 brings something new by making combat more ranged by implementing a third person shooter aspect. And again, to mention how Liza P introduces the mechanic of experimenting with your weapon by breaking and matching different parts together. So, are people really tired of Souls-likes? Or are people just tired of generic and poor quality Souls-likes 
that are just shining a bad light onto the genre. When you play a good Souls-like game, you feel a sense of excitement, determination, and achievement. At the end of the day, if you do feel tired of Souls-likes, don't feel like you have to force yourself to enjoy them. Video games are all about having fun, and if you feel like you're just wasting time, just drop the game and find something that you will enjoy. There is always a game that will fill you with the kill-like joy you once had when you played your first video game. So just explore your catalog and keep on enjoying this hobby that we all continue to appreciate in our lives.